Hi! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I am back with another tag from my Goodreads Drive that I've had in the vault for about three years now. This time the tag is called the Middle Grade Book Tag, and I saw it on Casey's channel, Lost in a Bookcase. I don't think she mentioned an original creator, but I am going to link her video down below. I thought that this was an interesting one because in the past couple of years I've been more interested in reading middle grade. Jumping into the questions, number one, what is the last middle grade book you've read? The last one I read was Tiger Honor by Yoon Han Lee. This was the second in their Thousand Worlds series, following a young man from a tiger clan who is convinced that his uncle has been wronged and he's going to go restore the family honor. And he runs into the person who he thinks has wronged his uncle and events unfold from there. I think the third book in this series has just come out and I'm excited to pick it up soon. Number two, what was a middle grade book someone read to you as a child? And the last middle grade book I remember being read to me, it was more read with me, we took turns, was with my mom, and we read Treasure Island. And I think just the experience of reading it with her, I ended up liking the book. Otherwise, I don't think it's one that I would have been interested in. Number three, favorite middle grade book as a child. And I'm going with Rimwalkers by Vicki Grove. I remember her coming to my middle school library and being really into her books at that age. And Rimwalkers is the one that I still remember. This was about four cousins who are spending the summer on their grandparents' farm. And three of them are of a similar age and one is much younger. So the one who's younger is kind of being left out. And there is a ghost story associated with this farm. Number four. What is your favorite middle grade book as an adult? And for this I am choosing Midnight for Charlie Bone by Jenny Nemo. This is a young boy who discovers he has magical powers. One of his grandmothers thought that he might because her on her side of the family magical powers do run in the family. And so because he has magical powers, he now has to go to a certain school. I did read this as an adult, not as a, a kid which is why it's one of my favorite books. And it's not one that I've heard a lot of people talk about. So if you haven't read Midnight for Charlie Brown and you like a magical school setting, you should try this one. Who is your favorite middle grade author? And for this, I've chosen Patricia Reed. Now, Patricia Reed also writes young adult and adult books, but I've always liked her middle grade. And in fact, she just recently had one come out, I think it's called The Dark Lord's Daughter, which I actually just picked up from the library today and it's on my library shelf, so I'm excited to read it. But I've always liked her sense of humor. It, it's been great. So Patricia Reed is my choice. Six, what middle grade book should be required reading in school? And I think Root Magic by Eden Royce. This is a historical fantasy it's set at a time period that is not often talked about. It's right near the end of segregation of the schools, and it's following a young girl who is a twin. She has a twin brother. And in this book, it has strong themes of family, family history, and also friendship. And so that's why I think that it should be required reading for school and for middle grade. Number seven, favorite middle grade book cover. So I don't really have one, but one that is very striking and I think fun, it, kind of, it, it conveys the adventure that you're going to go on, is Valentina Salazar is not a monster hunter. And that one is by Zoreta Cordova. And then number eight, favorite middle grade movie adaptation. And I'm going to alter this slightly to TV series adaptation. And for this, I've chosen a series of unfortunate events. The TV show that the parts that I've watched have been really on point for the books. I actually 
am not a big fan of the books. And I think that's just when I read them, they didn't work for me. Maybe now that I'm reading more middle grade and enjoying more middle grade, they will. But from watching the first couple seasons, they seem to like adapt from the book really well. And I enjoyed watching the seasons. I think that that is a great adaptation. And that has been the middle grade book tag. Do you read middle grade? Do you enjoy middle grade? If so, what are some of your favorite middle grade books? Thank you and have a great day.